Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lalit Basmatari. Today we will discuss one of the most important topic for commerce students. When we want to solve any maths questions, first we need to understand how to write 1, 2, 3 apart from knowing the basic operations of maths that is plus, minus, multiplications and so on. When we want to write any words or any sentences, we need to know how to write A, B, C up to Z. In the same way, in order to learn accountancy subject, a student need to understand journal properly. Therefore, journal is the basic foundations of accountancy subject. Now, what is a journal? A journal is the detailed records of all the business transactions related to monetary value. It means whatever the transactions that we are going to record in the form of journal should be related to money. For example, the buying and selling of goods and services should be in exchange of money. Now let us talk the real life example. Why do we need money? My father, mother, my sister, my brothers, my relatives, the shopkeeper, the industrialist, the businessman everybody work in order to earn money but money cannot help us directly but it help us to fulfill our requirement our want and our desire for example when we feel hungry we don't eat money but with the help of money we go to the market and we purchase food stuff in order to relieve ourselves from hungry we don't sleep on money, but with the help of money, we purchase bed to sleep. We don't take bath with money. So in a very nutshell, we can conclude that money is just an intermediary which help us to fulfill our requirement. Let us take one more example. There are two companies, company A and company B. Company A has declared that they are going to pay a salary to their employee whereas company B has declared that they are not going to pay any salary rather than paying salary they have declared that they are going to satisfy or fulfill all the wants desire and requirement of their employee I believe most of the employee will work in company B because we need money just to fulfill our requirement when we want to pass any journal there are two methods that is given in our book first we have traditional method in traditional method we have real nominal and personal in modern approach we have asset liability capital income or gain and at last expenses or losses but today we are not going to learn about these two method we are going to pass a journal with the concept method which is the combinations of both traditional method and modern approach a journal entry is a dual aspect it means journal is a dual system on left hand side we have debit and on right side we have credit when we see any value in maths that value can be either minus value or positive value in the same way when we see any value in accounts that value will be related to money whatever the things that we get will be recorded on debit side and whatever that we are going to give will be recorded on credit side before going to practical solutions we need to understand that money can help us for only two purpose first to purchase a things goods or product second it helps us to use services that is in and around us 
so money is useful for only two reason that is to purchase a things and second to use some services that is in and around us now let us take an examples related to things purchase pen costing rupees 20 here what did we get we have received a pen in return of that pen what did we give we have given a cash that's why pen account will be debited and cash account will be credited you just need to remember whatever the things that comes in for you will be regarded as debit and whatever you are going to give will be regarded as credit let's take another example purchase trouser costing rupees 2000 what did i get i have received trouser costing rupees 2000 in return of trouser i have given a cash of rupees 2000 therefore the journal will be trouser account debited and cash account will be credited because i have received a trouser whereas i have given a cash you just need to remember whatever the things that comes in to you will be regarded as debit and whatever you are going to give or sacrifice will be regarded as credit another example purchase computer costing rupees 50000 what did you get i have received a computer costing rupees 50000 therefore computer account will be debited and return and in return of computer i have given a cash that's why cash account will be credited now let us take an example of services how we use our money in order to use some services paid electricity bill costing rupees 1000 in this example we have not received anything but we have used the services of electricity that's why electricity account will be debited in return of consuming electricity we have paid a cash of rupees 1000 which is given by you therefore cash account will be credited another example paid rent rupees 2000 i have used a rent costing rupees 20000 it means i have to pay a rupees 2000 to the landlord for using his or her rent that's why rent account will be debited and cash account will be credited because i have given a cash of rupees 2000 for using a rent so these are the some examples that need to be understood by the student well in the next video we will discuss the same topic once again if you are a new viewer please like share and subscribe my youtube channel and click the bell icon in order to receive the latest video that i'm going to upload thank you and have a great day